everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to the Quack Bench. This is where uh, I generally put my rig up and talk about parts and stuff. Um, sorry I haven't been doing videos for the past, I guess it's about a week and a half, going on two weeks. Just been real busy with other with life. Um, also, in the main, I've been painting up the new body, which is mind the crap drawer. There's actually tools in these. It's just I got a lot of junk too. But I ordered up the Proline F100 body half cap. So it's the 66 Ford half cap. 66 F100 half cap. Yeah. Uh, I also ordered uh, I did order this. It's uh, off Amazon. Um, I don't remember where I put the thing for it. Ruby's like, back to talking, really? All right. Um, yeah, I can't remember where I put the uh, part number for this. But uh, they're on Amazon. Uh, you generally buy this, and then it come, you can also buy it with the, it's like a half cab Jeep. XJ, I believe it is. It just doesn't fit the build per se. It's not like it's. This is almost like it's just. It's almost too wide, if that makes sense. And it just adds a lot of weight onto the back of the truck, and it's not really what I want. But it is nice. It's got the spare tire mount there. Mounts onto the back of your frame here. You can obviously move it forward and all the way back. Because of the how big this body is, I needed it all the way back. It's still actually too far forward, like, if I was to mount it, I don't know, I guess it would just mount, but that's basically what it looked like. It looks good. I just, I wasn't feeling it. Especially with all the weight over the back. I just, I didn't want all that weight. Um, I may end up putting it on. I'm not 100% sure. I do have a uh, Robert, the uh, a uh, a Rob Builders kit coming. Uh, SCX102 Rob Builders kit. My mama got me that for uh, Christmas. It was a bit of a work bonus because I do work for family. So that was nice. And my fiance got me something real. But that'll be in a later video because it hasn't quite come out yet. It's a pre-order and it's a limited edition. So just do the thinking. <laughs> uh, I'm being weird today. But, uh, anywho. That's my Yeti bottle. This video is not sponsored by Yeti. But yes, so pull it off so you guys can get a good close look at it. And what I did, I kind of screwed it up a little bit, but I made little channels in the back for the frame here and here. They used to be a lot bigger and I realized I made them too big and the body was sitting like this. But there's the whole inside. And for the paint I used, um, I didn't use the Tamiya paint. I know it always chips really bad. It never, you have to put like a shitload of layers on it. But um, I used, I don't remember what I used. One minute, folks. Let's see if I got a kick on it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Trim clap. Is that the French? That was the French. Trim clad. Uh, it's rust paint, so it's definitely good for metal, but it works on any surface. And it's also a primer. So I used also flat black. Um, but before I sprayed here, like all the black, 
I did a bunch of layers of black in certain spots so you can see it's like very thick black in certain areas and then I used the red so you can see kind of where the red comes out there hopefully it focuses enough for you guys and on the sides you can just see like the red that pops out a little bit more uh, RC Sparks gotta have them on there him, them um, and I, I got a shout out video to him in a just in the go back a bit there's a shout out video but uh, yeah so I'm pretty happy with the paint job it's it's good it's not cracking anywhere um, I didn't spray any clear on I uh, probably should have but we're gonna see just how all this does if it gets to the point where it gets bad, I can always sand it down, mask the windows, and uh, give it a different kind of paint job. But I haven't painted a body in a while, so this was my first kind of attempt at painting a body. But Ford F100, side, side, some of the stickers are a little off. But there, so these here are actually my original Quack RC stickers. And that's a new sticker I did. I'm still working on uh, some new ideas for. Um, Jesus. Some new ideas for some uh, a logo. Haven't quite figured it out yet, but uh, I'm working on it. Um, but back to the truck. As you've seen in some other videos, I've got the uh, uh, aluminum diff covers. Um, this thing's got a lot of weight on it now. All metal gears are in here, so the Boom Racing all metal gears. Uh, I've talked about that in some older videos. Uh, I've got the up front as well. Like the truck weighs, it's got some good weight to it. Um, RC Lions. Alloy links, they're not the lightest, or the heaviest links, but they're, they're a decent link. It was like I've mentioned in another video, it was like $27 for the whole link kit. Pan hard, steering, everything. Uh, so they're not bad. They're not, you know, Vanquish or something like that, but that I will buy later on. Today I just ordered again on Amazon. Um, just I'm wanting to see what Amazon products will work. That way, you know, if you don't have a lot of money but you want something nice that at least looks good and works well, there's always Amazon. Then there's a few other companies. But I ordered some new shocks. Um, they are the. Find you a picture here. They are. They look like that. So I will post. I ordered the Benedict Harry red adjustable shock absorbers for one ten shocks. Um, they are. 100 millimeter. So I believe what's in here is like 80 or 90 millimeter. I want just that little extra. Could order something better. Or King Shocks or something. But I only have so much money I want to spend. Like I got a baby coming. Just bought a new couch. So, you know, money's a little on the tight end. But I still want to make sure I, you know, buy some decent stuff. So... Eventually there will be better links and stuff like that, but the shocks, if they work, I'm just going to leave stick with them. They're, I like the red. It's going to help certain things pop. Eventually I'll get the metal diff case, but at the same time, I kind of like the gray that they have there. I have ridiculous indigestion. Probably the McDonald's. Oof. Um, but yeah. So, the truck's not as well. RC lines, I believe, um, aluminum shock hoops. 
So the front will have the pan hard and then the back and everything. I'm hoping they still line up. Like they're the, still the same because I have the body. So I might have to just use the plastic fronts for now and then put the metal rears up. It's I really want to do the rears because it's when you put the body on. Oh, and I'll point out. So one thing I did with the body, just to snug it up a little bit, is I added... These aren't going to stay on them. You have to do something about that. But I added some... Basically, it's two-sided tape. Uh, gorilla tape. But I left the... It's almost like a duct tapey type finish there. I just left that on so that when I stick my body on... Holes. It doesn't. It stays nice and snug. So there's no movement there. Um, and then, of course, up front, I trimmed the bumper out a little bit just so it sits nicely on the bumper. I cut the whole metal bumper off. I find it just looks silly when you have the, the metal, when you have that, the, it's like that extra piece that runs along the bottom, which would be normally be like a stock bumper, and this at the same time. So I did that, I obviously had to cut a lot of the fenders out because I wanted it to sit quite low. Um, could sit lower, but it's, again, I just wanted that lower sort of sit. I don't like a big tall truck. This is not going to be a mud truck. I will, I do have plans to build up a mud truck at some point. I'd love to use the uh, SMT-10, like build a big mud truck, but I'm not really a SMT-10 fan at the same time. If I'm getting a monster truck, I'm getting the LMT. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of money for that. Is at the, for all these things at the same time either. So, again, this is not a massive mud truck. I want this low, that's why I have it the way it is. Eventually, when I get the new shocks on, I'm gonna set them to full droop so it will sit even lower, I'm hoping. But like when I get weight, in the, once the battery's up front, that's its normal ride head, it sits about there. And then there's no weight in the back, so I'm gonna have they're really stiff. I got the stiff springs in the back and the soft in the front. But, like I say, I want it sitting low. Um, I just have good luck with a low sitting truck. Low center of gravity, as they say. So, that's that. I haven't quite got a new an interior in there yet. It's going to be interesting to try and fit an interior in there as my transmission kind of sucked up the windows as well. I sanded be without, before I masked them. But if you can see in there, my transmission, don't mind the noob, the noob uh, mistake I made. I've been doing this for a while. I shouldn't have made that mistake. But the transmission sits pretty much like right where there'd be a seat. So there might not be an interior in this truck. But I'm happy. I'm very happy with the paint job I did, considering I haven't painted the body in a few years. So, I'm happy. Um, I'm going to have a run video up, hopefully in the next couple days. I was going to try and get out today, but the weather's just not holding up very well. I might go out and use the GoPro. The GoPro just doesn't... The camera I'm using here like that's what my last video and a bunch of the other ones have been made the, the quality is much better and I get that image that I'm looking for three videos ago I'd use the GoPro and it's just really it couldn't capture the light very well I think it might be the case I'm using because I use one of these cases and I mean I could try and take this lens cover off but 
Might actually be. I'll give. I'll try and give it a clean. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Unfortunately, nothing works the way I want it. My computer's still having issues with this camera because the quality of the image is so well, and my computer's need some updating. Great computer. It's just the internals, the graphics card, all that kind of stuff. It's just a little down there. So I'm in the mix of getting that upgraded, so a little more money has to go to the computer so that I can get the quality of videos to you guys before I can put some more expensive stuff into this. But stuff is coming. Again, I'm really sorry for the delay in videos. Normally I like to try and get at least one out a week. It's been about a week and a half, although I did put two out the week before. Uh, but that was just a... It was a run video, but then my, my quick little... Uh, shout out video there but uh, if you guys like submersible things I really recommend going to RC Sparks it's either RC Sparks Studio or RC Sparks TV he did a really cool underwater um, like an underwater in the ocean dive with his really cool submersible with the claw on it um, he's actually been not too far away from where I live on a vacation, so that was pretty cool. He's seeing areas that I grew up seeing more. That he's seeing more area, more. He's seeing more of an area that I grew up seeing all the time. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, definitely recommend going and watching that. Um, he's got lots of like the little mini truck videos. Like I said, if you understand what I was talking in the beginning, something limited edition will be here at some point soon. It's pre-ordered. Um, but the mini truck's pretty cool. And uh, there's always him and I believe it's uh, him and uh, la, 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 RC athletes. I'm brained it today. They do some really cool videos and like tips with upgrading and stuff like that with the little 124 scale trucks. So if you're into that kind of stuff, highly recommend going to watch those because that's like every morning I've been watching those little mini trucks. It's like a tiny truck takeover now. But uh, yeah, so definitely recommend going to see those. Don't really have a whole lot more. I set up a shelf. Uh, this here is actually for like old people to put their feet up. I thought it'd be great for a ramp for the truck. It was like three bucks, so I bought it. Couldn't say no. Um, obviously, I put the deadbolt up there and like the deadbolt box picture before I threw the box out. Don't hate me for throwing the box out. I just only have so much space. But I kept the image. And of course, I kept the deadbolt body. I'm not getting rid of that. Still got stock tires. I'm going to need to run some tires on the builder's kit that I'm getting, so nothing's getting thrown out. It's, this is like, this is new age Quack RC. This isn't what it was before where I build something, get rid of it for something else. I am keeping everything, one, so I can have fun with all of it and I don't miss something, and two, for you guys. I know before, a lot of, like I had a lot of people that loved my bomber, and as soon as I got rid of it, people were like, what the fuck, man, that was cool. I don't want to do that again, and I miss that bomber to this day, and I don't know whatever happened to it. It's probably somewhere on this island having a great time, but I don't have it, so it bugs me. <laughs> so don't worry, everything's staying here, even old parts will be staying, unless they break and I have to throw them out. If it's a cool break, I'll, like if I break a frame, I'll frame that frame. Yeah. Maybe. I, this is also my, this is our dining room right here. So like my dining room table's right here. Like literally right here. So I tend to, I'm trying to keep this all area clean. And so we can also have dinners and stuff like that. When someone looks over, it's not completely a shit show. I don't have a studio anymore. Like when I lived with my, uh, my old roommate, uh, he, he was in videos, rotor what Ugh, Rotor Wilson. Still live in the same building as me. I just moved up. He's in the same apartment. Our dining room wasn't a dining room. It was literally a workshop. So, 
that's why I had a much more of a studio in that spot. Here I kind of have to keep in mind that I'm living with, you know, my fiance and her son. So I'm like a stepdad kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, I'll take that. I'm still, yeah. Um, we have a baby coming. So I have to keep everything kind of nice and clean and organized in respect of everybody else. So that's why the shelf's up there. Eventually I'll have a couple more bins and things where I can keep the body because eventually there'll be two trucks up here so I'll be putting some of that. I'll probably use the deadbolt body for a while on the builder's kit but you know what I'm getting at. I gotta keep things organized, blah blah blah. So yeah. That's the truck. There'll be a run video soon. I'm running out of things to say. So thanks for watching. Um, and, uh, oh, the big one. Please like the video. Um, if you haven't already been, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. Um, it's just a click. It's just a little click. Hit that little bell if you want to keep updated with what I'm doing. Um, comment. It's always great. But uh, eventually, maybe at the 500 subscriber mark, I'll do a giveaway. And 1,000 subscribers, I will definitely do a giveaway. But that's going to be a while. But I will do a 500 subscriber giveaway as soon as I get 500 subscribers. I'll start putting together something to give away, whether it's a you know set of tires or a new body, something I will put together to give away. Um, it won't be anything huge. This the 1,000 subscriber. I will definitely put together maybe a little 124 scale truck or something to give away. But 500 subscribers, you may get some tires, a body, or something. We'll figure that out. But like I said, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that. And uh, stay, posted for, stay posted for another run video and stay posted for the information about a 500 subscriber giveaway. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your week and have a fantastic weekend. Have a good one, guys.